Hello, I'm going to make a reading, a creative reading, oracle reading for an astrological sign. I'm going to make a drawing from this astrological deck. And I only have a few cards left because I've already done some of the astrological signs and planets. And uh, when a planet comes out, I associate the reading with the planet for that particular sign. So let's see which sign we're going to read for next and if they have a planetary connection. So also I'm going to read uh, Divine Abundance, Unshakable Inner Peace and the uh, Star Code Astro Oracle reading for them sign that comes out which sign needs to be read for today at this moment timeless moment timeless reading shouldn't say today i've been doing timeless readings this one wants to flip uranus is going to be a uh, planet associated with the reading and which which sign are we reading for this one didn't want to go back in Aquarius is going to be read for in relations to Uranus Uranus Aquarius oh I'll quickly read about Aquarius I flipped to it so a planetary ruler is Uranus. So Aquarius, the water bearer, element air, planetary ruler, Uranus. Motto I see. Always on the cutting edge, Aquarius brings vision and imagination to any situation while usually open-minded. There can be a tendency to be insensitive to others if they are not willing to be a av avant-garde or eccentric um, okay let's let's read that again uh, to others if they are not willing to be as avant-garde or eccentric as as Aquarius Aquarius leads the way toward the future but can be distant and detached to the present so let's look up um, what message uh, we have with um, Uranus in Aquarius? All right, I can find that quickly. It's here. Um, come on. See what's going on. Okay, here it is. No, oh, that's the relationship from planet to planet. Uh, still relationship from planet to planet. On planet to astrological sign. section anyway okay sorry for the long wait Uranus and Aquarius challenge your worldview is what uh, those together request you to do so let's go to the um, 
Divine Abundance cards. Found that you, it says reframe. This is happening for me, not to me. Aquarius. It's happening for me, not to me. And your unshakable inner peace. Okay. Two popped out for you here. I'm going to read both of them. You are the image maker. What you focus on manifests. What thought pattern do you need to shift? And rest, renew, recharge. What does your body crave and need right now? So... We have one more card set to go through. It's the Star Codes Astro Astro uh, Oracle Co Oracle. And what we had fly out was Pluto Rebirth number 27. Pluto. So let's read about 27. Pluto Rebirth. Pluto is the modern ruler of Scorpio and is a power planet toyed that takes 248 years to travel or traverse the zodiac. Pluto and Charon, C H A R O N, Charon, the largest of its five moons, circles each other and create a binary system. Most myths connected to Pluto, god of the underworld, have two major characters. The one who descends into the underworld to return reborn and one who either sends souls down to the underworld or greets them on the ravel. For Pluto, Proserpina to Seth and Osiris and Inanna and Erishkigal, both sides of these myths, the use and the abuse of the power and the willingness to be reborn again into their embodied divine selves describes Pluto's influence. Pluto was also Lord of the Mining, retrieving valuables from deep within the earth. Action. Pluto calls for three actions. First, to dig deep. Second, to be willing to transform. And third, to use power wisely. Pluto calls you to drill down and dig up what is worthy and bring it to the surface and then rinse away the dirt and uncover the gold bring up riches whenever you dig deep into your soul's work notice obsessions and neuroses these signs of stress must be listened to and healed but don't allow them to control you Pluto rem reminds you that you can't hold on to the past, but you can take care of yourself. To begin this work, you may have to let go of an old form as a caterpillar must be become a butterfly. Mourn what you mourn what you've left behind, then get curious about what is about to arrive. Examine the power dynamics of the situation. Neither give you yours way nor misuse your power over others. Step out of the power struggle and into the self-empowerment. Challenges, heading, Pluto's shed, shadow side can bring up obsession, depression, mortality, and grief. Pluto plays hardball, so get a guide, guide for your realm if needed. Spiritual gifts is a heading. Pluto asks you in the face of life and death, why are you here? This isn't a, a rhetorical question. Strip down to the essentials and come back to what really matters to find the answer. So, Aquarius, I hope you enjoyed your reading. You have a great day.